Hey guys and welcome back to my let's play of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. It is finally time for the last colour gem of the game and along with Slippery Climb, it's the most annoying. It is time for the lab. Again, this is another level that we own another level trophy that we only see once in the game. And I'm so glad we do, because this level is annoying. I mean it makes sense. Besides Stormy Ascent, since that was initially cut, this is the final level of the game. So we have floors that open up and close. These doors, you know, you have to hit the switch box to open them up. But if you take too long, you can get crushed by the doors. You shouldn't really need to worry about that, but you can get crushed by the doors. Sometimes you have to hit the switch box to activate the floor, and then you got to run super fast. You have these electrical things to watch out for, and you have the most annoying bonus room in the game. And then the most annoying taller one. Right, wait for the electricity to appear and then go. The lighting does also make... Oh, now that works fine. The lighting does also make bottomless pits kind of hard to see in this version. And that's further ahead. Once you get close to the ledge, those blob things will stop appearing. But, right, there's something you need to watch out for. In this one, it's a switch box. So that's fine. Here, TNT crate that they hide beneath the crates. Really stupid move there. That they 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 reuse that in Crash 2, but they actually add like a little uh, they add a Wumper fruit on top of it to warn you there's something there. Although that Wumper fruit was taken out in this remake for some reason. I don't know why they decided to remove that. You'd think really they would just add the Wumper fruit to this, but no. Right, this is a really yep. There we go. Let's die now. What you need to do is you need to try and bounce off of that spring box and then maneuver your way around the second spring box so that you can then get what's above it and there's two crates there so that should be it so I have more to go so one two three four five un de twa cat sang uno Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. And there we go. Look, they don't even give you extra life crates at the end. Wow, two tries. How did I do that in two tries? But unfortunately, we've still got more levels to do. Alright, and these guys are annoying. And they will move towards you. There we go. One thing they took out, sadly, is the scream that they do in the original. I love the scream from the original. Okay. Yeah! Here it's just like a standard, whoa! Which is really disappointing, because the scream in the original was awesome. And uh, it was reused in Crash 2 as well, which again, it's not here anymore. I don't know. <laughs> Does Naughty Dog own the rights to the sound effect or something? I have no idea. Oh. This guy throws chemicals. The guy from Slippery Climb. But yeah, thankfully we do have this here. Again, you're kind of going to need to use this in um, to get the gold gem. Which is again, really super annoying. And you actually need to time some of these TNT explosions. So that uh, you freeze the clock at the right time. You're not wasting time. I wasn't ready. Right, this is the most annoying part. Let's say, towards the end. You need to time everything. Right, I don't trust him at the moment. I can wait. This isn't the time trial. Yes, Coco, just do your dance. Boy, this turns me into a nervous wreck. <laughs> Die! Then it mistakes it for me 
ordering myself to die, which I was not. Blob, blob, blob. Uh, come on. Ah ha ha. No. Jet. Uh, uh, swearing. <laughs> I'm really nervous right now. This is the right. This is the last bit. This is the last bit. Come on. Yay! First try! That's our yellow gem! Yes! There we go! Every colored gem I did the lab on my first try! Only one death in the bonus room as well! I am suspicious! I am not looking forward to Stormy Ascends! Whew! That was tense! I really hate the lab! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, uh, do I add a beep sound effect or do I not bother? It's like what I did in Sonic 06. I did say it at one point there. The first time in two points there. The first time I censored out, the second time I didn't. I mean, I use words like ass and asshole, so there's really no point. Alright, but with the yellow gem, we can now go back to lights out. And we can do the gem pathway here, but again, we now have to complete as. The hint is telling us we have to complete this level without dying now, but thankfully this one isn't very long. You can also uh, really cheese the um, time trial here. It's a risk since I have no checkpoints, but I'm actually going to see if I can get the platinum here. Because I did uh, before, because you, <laughs> you can do that. The second exit still ends the time trial early. You can still use the gem platform, so you can actually cheese this level and get a very easy platinum relic, assuming you can get that far in the level in the first place. But yeah, this is the trick. You just got to keep going. This doesn't really work for the platinum relic. You do still have to just jump along the sides rather than wait for the platforms and jump under the archways and everything. I'm not skilled for that. And in addition to the platinum relics, there are developer times as well. Which are even more difficult. They were also in Crash 3. They were taken out of the PAL version due to some uh, differences. Some regional differences like the 50 hertz thing and everything. But not a problem here. Every every it, This is all based on the American version. And none of that's really an issue nowadays. Oh. <laughs> well that takes me back to the start. Well, let's give it another try. But I... And uh, you can see all of the developer times in the credits. In the, uh, in Crash 3, the original, you had to get all of the gold relics, I think, and then get the good ending. So you, you pretty much needed Coco's hidden gems to get them to appear, and then they would show all of the developer times. But here, all you got to do, they're, they're, they're all just in the end credits. I don't think Stormy Ascent is included. There is a developer time for it, according to the Crash Wiki, Bandipedia. Well, I like that name. But uh, I don't think it appears in the credits. I never saw it in the credits, which was when I watched through them all to see if it was uh, just to hear the melody. Just to hear the medley, really. Melody, medley, whatever the word is. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't see Stormy Ascent there, even though that was uh, after the update, after I'd already added it on. But, you know, it makes sense that there's a developer time for it. But okay, now we can just keep going. Through all these portraits. Of course, I still have to waste time by breaking the crates, but I think they were fine crates anyway. Oh, that was only a gold relic? Oh, I'm disappointed. What did I miss? Oh, well. I'm disappointed. You can <laughs> The first time I did this, I managed to get the Platinum Relic. So, maybe it's going for those cranes, rather than simply jumping on the thing. I, don't, I think it is possible to get the Platinum Relic on the main pathway, unless they wanted you to do that, I don't know. I'm curious. What is the target time? Yeah, well, maybe I dawdled a bit, I don't know. Alright, we, we now got the purple gem. I don't know why I was saying that the, the, the lab was the last coloured gem. That's completely wrong because that unlocks the 
because that was the last code gen. Now I'm going to do boulder dash last. That's normally how I do it. The first one we're going to go to, all the way back at the start. It's only the third level. We've got to go all the way back. The Great Gate. So when we did this level before, it was really short. Uh, but now, that was pretty much just half of the level, if, if not even less than that. So this is another level that takes us beyond the goal. And the level that is beyond the goal is pretty big. And since you're supposed to go there after completing the lab, they certainly ramped up the difficulty. So while all this is a breeze, the level in the boat, the level on the gem path certainly isn't. Oops. I thought I was just out of range, but apparently no, he's got a killer tail. I really hate touch damage. I know it's like the standard of many platformers, but it makes no sense and I really hate it. Crashing Clank doesn't have touch damage. Like Cooper doesn't have touch damage. Jack and Daxter have no idea, but no, those games don't have touch damage. I mean, unless it's like a a proper hazard that you expect touch damage on, like fire or something. But simply touching an enemy is no problem. You know, unless that enemy has some kind of special defense, like he's covered in spikes or something. That makes sense, but touch damage otherwise makes no sense. It's like why can you jump on them but you can't hit them from the side? Where's the logic in that? Unfortunately, there are many games where I don't see it going away anytime soon. It got, they, they very briefly got rid of it for Sonic. It was There was no touch damage in Sonic Unleashed, either version. Uh, you know, for the Werehog, that kind of made sense, but they, they also didn't have it for Sonic. Like, in the normal stages. So, uh, I don't know why they decided to bring it back for colours. You know, any game, Sonic 4. I mean, that, I mean, that was technically trying to pay homage to the old games, even if it didn't exactly work. But... So I can maybe understand it in Sonic 4, but why was it in Sonic Colors in every game after that? Maybe it was because they thought it would be weird. Why can Sonic get hurt as a werehog, but he can't... But he uh, instantly dies if he... Wait, why, why is Sonic fine as a werehog, but he gets hurt when he's normal? But then again... A werehog has to hit enemies multiple times, whereas the regular Sonic in his regular form can uh, kill enemies in one go. He gets weaker as the werehog, which completely defeats the purpose of the thing. But anyway, this is Crash Bandicoot, although this game in development was Sonic's ass game. Although, personally, I prefer to give that title to Shadow the Hedge. Or Sonic in the Secret Ring. No, uh, actually no, the word ass is too friendly for Sonic in the Secret Rings. Okay, there's nothing there. I think there is one later on that does have a crate behind it, but you still need to... <laughs> and then you need to go back and take the main route anyway. Yeah, so this is now the gem path, and this is considerably more difficult. Yeah, here it is. So bounce on this. And there are some crates behind here, I believe. I think there's like one crate. I don't remember where it is, unless I just broke it. There it is. But unfortunately, because of the location, because that's a spring box back there, you still have to go through all of this. And there was an extra life there. Even though I'm already at 99. Yeah, they were smart. Naughty dog, you're too, in, you're too smart. Down I go. Right, cut. <laughs> Right. Come on, fire. Whoa, and I barely made that. I nearly jumped over it. <laughs> you, get, you get plenty of time, but you still get paranoid in your way anyway. The rolling monkey. Oi! Yeah, there's no checkpoint here, by the way. We sent all the way back to before the gem path. And even then, that save point that I'm using is the one I get from the um, bonus room. So if you're playing the original, you're sent even further back. 
But then again, if you're playing the original, you have to start the stage again anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter in that regard. I forget how long this is. I think we're nearing the end. I think this is the last bit. 36 at 38. There's one. There's 37. I don't know why there's a load of wampa fruit. So you want you need to destroy it in the, uh, the fancy way. And there's 38. And there we go. Alright, well thankfully Boulder Dash is nice and simple. Okay, back to Boulder Dash. And this is the level that I actually... I, I always save Boulder Dash for last. Uh, for two reasons, really. One is just because it's the next level on the way back. And the other is... Uh, just because I like the scenery. Like, it, it's, it's something unique and it's the only time you ever see it. Come on, go, go. <laughs> I don't know why she wasn't going anywhere. It's the only time we ever see the kind of scenery. Oops. So I want to get a whole hog. Getting the stages mixed up. But first we just have to do the stage like normal. The gem path isn't until the very end of the stage. But this is Boulder Dash, so that doesn't take very long. These levels became much longer in Crash 2, but they also came, they also became more annoying in Crash 2 because they made the camera closer to you, adding dash pads that make Crash go even closer to the camera. And that's only Crash 2. Crash 3 is so much worse. And they improved in Wrath of Corsex, and then they became really annoying in Twin Sanity again by not actually telling you that the enemies you've been defeating throughout the entire past 20 minutes are now suddenly invincible. Does it tell you that? No! I mean, the second time, the next two times is really obvious, but not there, because they're standard enemies. Uh, I don't think there's any chasing with this after. I don't know. If I, I've never played the Game Boy Advance games. Like the, the Huge Adventure, XS, Extra Small, I'm not really sure how you pronounce its name. Uh, it's European name. Uh, but they're 2D. I don't know if there's any sort of chase levels in those. And then I don't I don't think there's any sort of chase sequences in Titans and Mutants since they're pretty different. And that's maybe the handhelds do it because they're much closer to the older games. Uh, Titans, D, Titans, G, Titans GBA, Mutants DX. They're, they're more like standard more like huge adventure and and tracks. Right, jump on this. But I don't know if that. I don't know if they have any chase sequences. I, maybe they do. Maybe they don't. You still have to. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you're still jacking the um, Titans. I mean, I'm pretty sure that would still be part of their gameplay. I don't know. And I know Titans DS is uh, just like a standard 3D crash game. That went well. <laughs> the end of the stage was right there. But I don't know if the uh, stage is... I, I, I don't know. I, I really need to play the handheld. I have Titans DS. I just haven't got around to playing it yet. But I know that one is considered to be the best version of Titans. This is actually more of a traditional 3D crash game. It still has a combat, but other than that, it's a traditional 3D crash game. So I don't know what happened with Mutants. I don't know why that one's 2D, why they got rid of the voice acting for some reason. And overall it looks pretty ugly. Right, let's try this again. Whoa, frame rate drops. For once that is not part of the software exporting. That's actually in the game. Yeah, right, this, this place benefits. This place looks a bit nicer in the original, I will admit. It still looks nice here, but it definitely looks better in the original. Like, the light... I didn't even see him. The light looks better. Let's just go. Who wants chowder? 
Oh, so now I'm able to hit the planet into the planet. You a lot of extra lives here. Better be everything. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. I have never died on this pathway. I knew the lab was too good to be true. And it makes me fail there. On what should be one of the easiest gem pads in the game. Screw you, Boulder Dash. But anyway, with that said, if it wasn't for Stormy Ascent, that would now be every gem in the game. That would just leave two boss, that would just leave the Great Hall and the final boss against Cortex. However, this is the Insane Trilogy with Stormy Ascent added onto it. So. That's what we're going to be going to next time. Stormy Ascent. You can go back to Mentality TV if you want as well. Stormy Ascent is available from the very beginning of the game. If you have it available, you can go back. Once you're on Insanity Beach, just go here and you can go to Stormy Ascent. But yeah. It's time. Well, I say it's time. Next time. We're heading into Stormy Ascent. Depending on how long I'm there, maybe I want to finish the game. Doubtful, but possible. So, I will see you guys then.